It's been five years since the last census that was conducted in 2011. In this census 2011, we told the story of the South Africa I know, the home I understand, through the eyes of Lerato, a young university student who lived with her family in Ennerdale, Johannesburg. Like many of her peers, Lerato is a young woman who faces adulthood in a rapidly changing society. She has gone through some changes in her family and personal life. Her dear grandmother passed on at age 75 since. Despite her grief, Lerato took comfort in recently finding out that her grandmother lived well beyond the life expectancy for South African females, which is 66 years. Her father, a self-employed car mechanic who is Lerato's personal hero, has been struggling to maintain his business. The tough economic conditions in the country have impacted on his clients who are now cutting back on some of their spending. Although on average, the income received by households has increased from 103,000 to 115,000, a nominal 11.8% increase. This increase has not been evenly distributed and Lerato's family has not benefited from it. Her mother took early retirement due to her ill health. All these changes have impacted on Paul, Lerato's brother, and he is thinking of dropping out of university to go look for work. He is an active participant of the hashtag Fees Must Fall movement as he understands the impact of expensive education on poor households. He is cognizant of the decision he is making. He will be joining the ranks of the young, unskilled and probably unemployable who make up 91.3% of youth unemployment. Lerato doesn't agree with Paul's decision to drop out, however she appreciates his reasons. She has been doing her best to supplement their family's income even though she has moved out of home. She'd like to do more, but she's now a single mother to a three-month-old baby. Lerato is not unique. She's one of the three million single mothers in South Africa in the age group 15 to 34, and also she's one of the many young people who have established their own households. This has contributed to the number of households increasing by 2 million, while the average household size has decreased to 3.4 per household, from above four persons per household in 1996. As our democracy is now 22 years, the question and development challenges are about how will Tabisile, Lerato's sister, who is now eight years old, and Indil Rato's baby, who is three months old, fare in the next 20 years? Will they face a life of university dropout? Will they face a life of youth unemployment? Will they face a life unfulfilled? Or will the implementation of the National Development Plan save their futures, and guarantee a better life for their children. This is the South Africa I know, the home I understand.